Hey everyone, this is going to be a quick no-nonsense video on how to build a Ponagachi. I've seen a lot of these videos and they seem pretty complicated, so I'm trying to make something that's easy to follow along and that you can do quickly. So first thing you're going to need is a Raspberry Pi 0 2W. Um, you can use a Raspberry Pi 0 uh, first gen. Uh, that's actually what I'm using here for this video just because it has the headers pre-installed. Um, the Raspberry Pi 2 Zeros have, um, they're kind of hard to find with, with headers. I know you can buy them, but not, not quickly like on Amazon. Uh, but let's say you wanted to do that, you can get one of these, which is a um, like a GPIO header installed jig. And so you'll buy um, solderless headers, and then you'll put the Raspberry Pi 2 in this jig, and then you put the, the headers in, and then you will install this little, uh, this thing that you hammer the headers onto the board. It's solderless and it's quick, and I totally recommend it if you're trying to build a Ponagachi. Uh, but for now, we'll just uh, look at this Gen 1. So you'll need a Raspberry Pi Zero, and then you'll need a WaveShare 2.13 inch e-ink display. Um, this one's a version four. A version three will work for this video as well. And then you'll need a case. I make these, you can find them on my website if you like it. And then uh, at least an eight gigabyte SD card. Something with a high read write. Um, something that can withstand a lot of read writes. So I have an industrial one, but you can get like high endurance ones. Uh, look up any that are good for an operating system, but for this video, I'll use this SanDisk Industrial. Okay, then it's really easy. You can just uh, install this screen into the Raspberry Pi or onto it. Gonna wiggle it on. Once it sits flush, you know you got it. And then you just install it into the case. Now that we have the case on, let's go ahead and get this plugged into our computer, and then we'll go ahead and program it. We're gonna go to J of Felony's Ponagachi GitHub page, and then the release section. For my Raspberry Pi, I need the 32 bit image for the Raspberry Pi. One, but for you guys, if you're using the Raspberry Pi Zero 2, you'll need the 64-bit image. So download whatever version you need. And then let's open up Belena Etcher. And I have all the links for this in my tutorial on the website. I'll link it in the description. But then you'll go ahead and find your image and open it. And then you'll select the target, and for me, it'll be my 8GB SD card. And then you flash. And this will take a minute, so I'll go ahead and cut the video, and we'll uh, move on to the next section. Next, you'll want to head over to my GitHub page. Link will be in the tutorial as well. And you want to download the raw file. And this will be where you can change your Ponagachi name, add whitelisted networks, uh, yeah, so give it a download. Once the SD card is done imaging, you will see a boot FS drive show up. This is where you will paste the config.toml file. And you can actually open it up. And then this is when you would um, go ahead and rename your Ponagachi. And then you would also um, change any of the um, the whitelist networks to be the networks that you don't want to have this attack. Um, I'll just leave it default in this case. And then just make sure you save it. Once you save the config file, just eject the SD card and let's plug it back into our uh, Ponagachi. Now that you flash the SD card, let's go ahead and get it inserted and um, let it do its first time setup. Once you see the green light, that's a good thing. Just uh, let it sit and don't touch it. Don't touch it for at least 10 minutes. It should, um, once you see the Ponagachi's face, that's a good sign, but it still won't be done. It'll wanna generate keys. 
Once it's done generating keys, you can go ahead and shut it off and it's good to go. Here we go, it's all done. If you guys like the tutorial, go ahead and give it a like. If uh, you subscribe, that would help a lot. If you have any suggestions for future videos, let me know. Thanks, bye.